Here at the Western Canada High School Band Program, the health and safety of the students is our number one priority. That's why this year we've taken a few extra precautions to ensure our students stay safe. Our daily routine adjustments help make sure that our program stays up and running throughout the entire year. These protocols are followed even before students enter the building. The first step when students arrive at school for rehearsal is to mask up. Every band student must wear a mask in the school at all times unless they're eating or drinking in a designated area. The next step is to sanitize at one of the provided sanitizing stations like this one that can be found at every entrance of the school. Next, students drop their personal belongings in the band room. Don't forget to sanitize on your way in. Make sure you grab your instrument and your music folder and then head back to the cafeteria. Before entering the cafeteria, students must sanitize their hands again using at least one pump of hand sanitizer. This is to ensure that students are getting rid of as many germs as possible before entering the rehearsal space. All students must also take a certain wipe upon entering the cap, and brass players must also take a thick stack of paper towel as well. Before sitting down, use your certain wipe to disinfect your chair and stand. All brass players should fold their paper towel in half and place it on the ground. The paper towel is there to catch all the condensation that we empty from our spit valves, and by folding it in half, it greatly reduces the chance of the condensation touching the ground. A few things changed about playing instruments, too. All wind instruments now have fitted bell covers to ensure that particles in the air remain inside the instrument rather than being blown out of it. Students also have special playing masks. This allows for us to stay masked during rehearsal and it gives us the ability to close the mask during long rests or breaks. Students are required to bring these materials to every rehearsal and must make sure to wash them at least once a week. Percussion also has a few new changes. Each percussionist must sanitize their hands in between every instrument change. And all equipment must be sanitized between uses. Things such as mallets, drumsticks, and hand drums get sanitized multiple times during every rehearsal. Once rehearsal is finished, brass students must dispose of their paper towel in the garbage bin that is closest to their assigned seat. There, they must then sanitize their hands and take another wipe to disinfect the area around the paper towel. And once they're finished with that, they go back to their assigned seat and wait to be dismissed in waves by Mr. Hagen. Depending on what their instrument is, they'll either exit through the front or the back doors of the cafeteria. Sanitizing on your way out is just as important as when you came in. When returning to the band room, remember to once again sanitize your hands. Then make sure your folder and instrument go back to their proper place. You might be wondering how this space is used by non-band students or how all these seats get put away before rehearsal is over. Yeah, these chairs don't put themselves away. Thanks to the band leadership executive, this dedicated group of students is in charge of resetting the cafeteria for different ensemble groups before and after school. This allows for students to only touch their own chair during rehearsal and it significantly reduces contact points. You may notice a few things about our rehearsal space. The first is that we are playing in the cafeteria this year. This is so that there is enough space to distance all the chairs out with two meters between each player. Another benefit of playing in the cafeteria is the ventilation system, which allows for constant air circulation. Each student in our program is assigned a seat. Seating plans may change each semester depending on part placements. Each row has a letter and each seat has a number. That's all from us! Thank you for watching this video. We hope this helped you get a better idea about the protocols we follow here in Western Band. If you have any questions, DM our Instagram account at western.band or email Mr. Hagen. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to check out our YouTube channel at WCHS Band. Until